Good afternoon all. Today we'll be having our second part of the periodic table presented by Ibrahim Imran Olagotin. And the subtopic for today is properties of groups on the periodic table. Now let's look at the group 1 elements. As we earlier said, group 1 elements are called alkali metals. And some of the properties are, they are metals that react with water to form alkaline solution. Secondly, they have single electron in their atmosphere, which is also called the valence electron. So all elements in this group have one electron in their last shell, that's the outermost shell. And they are shiny and easily caught with a knife. An example of the alkali metal is the sodium. They are the most reactive metals. They react violently with water. As you can see from this diagram, when a sodium metal is placed in water, it's going to cause a vigorous reaction. Alkali metals are found as free elements, so they are found freely in nature. Then group 2 elements are the alkali earth metals. They are never found free in nature, and they also have two valence electrons in the outermost shell, which means the last shell carries only two electrons. Some of the elements in this group are magnesium, calcium. Then beneath, we have the transition metals, which are between the group 2 elements, which are the alkali earth metals, and the group 3 elements which are the boron family. Now, transition elements include copper, tin, zinc, iron, nickel, gold, and silver. They are good conductors of heat and electricity. The next property of the transition metal is they are brightly colored, as they are colorful, and they are used as color paints. They have one or two valence electrons that's in the 3D shell, which is the second to the last shell. Then thirdly we have the group 3, which are the boron family, which was named after the first element on the group, which is boron. And from the group name group 3, they have three valence electrons which means three electrons on their outermost shell. The family includes boron and other metals, including the most abundant metal on earth, which is aluminium. Then we have the group four element, which is the carbon family. The carbon family elements have four electrons on the outermost shell, which means they have four valence electrons. And the metals include carbon, and we have the metals in the group, we have non metals and we have metallurgy. So this carbon is referred to as the basis of life since there's a branch of chemistry that is named after this and it's called organic chemistry. So group 4 elements are the nitrogen family and it's named after nitrogen also since it is the most abundant element on earth. About 78% of the atmosphere comprises of nitrogen. The family also includes non-metals, metalloids and metal and they have 5 valence electrons. They always share the electron when bounding. And other members of this family include phosphorus, arsenic, antimony, and bismuth. Then the group 6 elements, which are the oxygen family. They have 6 valence electrons. They also share electrons when forming compounds, that's during bounding. And oxygen is one of the most abundant elements also on Earth, which is extremely active and combines with almost all elements to form oxides. 
that's why you see you have many oxides you have the amphoteric oxides acidic oxides basic oxides and so many other oxides we know then group seven elements are the halogen family elements in this group includes the fluorine chlorine bromine iodine and astatine they have seven valence electron and they are the most active non-metals though they are never found free in nature then group eight elements or the group four elements these are called the noble gases rare gases or inert gases they are colorless gases and they are unreactive they don't react with any element one of the properties of the noble gases is their inactivity and this is because they have a field outermost energy level that they've completed their octet structure they can no longer go into bounding they can no longer react with any element then the noble gases are also called the inert gases because they do not readily combine with other elements to form compounds the family members include helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, and radon. All noble gases are found in small amounts, which means they are very rare, and that's why they are called the rare gases. The next one are the rare elements, rare earth elements. They are the one beneath this table, and they are called the lanternites and actinides. The elements found here are called transuranium which means synthetic or man-made so most of this lanternite and actinite are man-made due to one process or the other they are being formed so this is the take care for today we have to mention two properties each and examples of elements that belongs to the following groups on the periodic table one the alkali metals two alkaline earth metals, three halogens, four noble gases.